Um, Dune is not with us this evening, so I will do my best to conduct the meeting. Um, this is a special select board meeting, which has been posted in three places, plus on our website, and interested parties have been notified. So I believe that we have a legal meeting ready to go. Um, in case we do have a large turnout, um, I am asking for everyone to keep going. Um, if we had any questions, we could ask you for more. But the first thing I take this special meeting opportunity to move along. And the first one is from the shelter team, and they are requesting to use the park from 3 to 6 p.m. One Friday once per month is what I understand. Um, they would like to have uh, two volunteers and a table to distribute info and answer questions about emergency preparedness. Um, I know that they also participate in the Harvest Fair and they do. Um, you yeah. said it's going to be one Friday per month. Do you have the date of the? Per month. And perhaps Julie could have that information. This was distributed by Jan McCann. Okay. And her phone okay. number is 767-3667. Okay. I, I can give her a call. Thank you very much. Sure. Um, I move that we uh, approve this application. I second it. All in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. Do we sign this year? Yeah. yeah. Just need to. Yep. And I am Thanks. Yep. The next item on our agenda is well, it's also an application for use of um, this time. This time it's the Riverside Park, which is the one down below. Uh, use of the Riverside Park to begin and end the Pierce Hall Ridgeline Outdoor Collective 5K Dash. It entails a registration table, two banners, parking, which would not take place in front of the firehouse, and small ceremony after the race for prizes and recognition. This is an mm -hmm. annual event. It is uh, taking place on July 4th. Um, I don't know if there's a rain date. But um, I would I would assume that running probably would happen in the rain. So I, I'm not sure that there is a rain day. Um, best of luck to all that uh, choose. Therefore, unless anyone has anything else to add, I move to approve this application for use of the Riverside Town Park. I second that. All in favor? All right. So a hop in town. <laughs> Dashing. Okay. Um, next on our agenda um, is uh, we had a discussion in our last meeting uh, about pickleball at the, the local tennis courts. Um, but it had not been put on our agenda, so we decided that we were not really able to make a decision because it hadn't been duly warned. So in this particular meeting, we are prepared to make a decision about that. Um, did you have anything to add to that, Norm? No, in particular. I think we covered it in that first meeting. Okay, and you are going to be doing the lines yourself? Uh, yeah, and the partner. Uh, well, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> well, yeah, we won't be hiring a uh, professional, professional line uh, pickleball uh, line painter. Pickleball. <laughs> 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 it's a job title. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, 
Uh, I guess we'll just go through the formality. If anybody has any questions about it, we're retrofit we're retrofitting the tennis courts so that they can there still be tennis courts, but they will also be accommodating to pickleball. And I believe it's only one of the two courts. Just one. Yep, That's just right. one of the two courts. So the lines won't be too. Con if the lines are too confusing on one, you could go to the other if you're playing tennis. Um, and. Um, I think that's it. I move that we approve the adjustment of lines to one of the tennis courts to accommodate pickleball. Mm -hmm. Second that. All in favor? Right. Aye. Aye. And we do have a couple pickleball paddles and balls at the hardware store, too. Oh, <laughs> Next on our list is park. Yep, we already did that. Discussion of use of funds. Okay, so. Uh, welcome to all in attendance this evening to bring forward public ideas, thoughts, and suggestions to the select board representatives as to how best to allocate granted funds to Rochester from the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. It is the select. Residents as possible with the longest investment benefit. You are, we are here to listen to your input as to how these funds could be spent. The select board ultimately will be making the decision as to the best use of the funds. And we have defined some expenses already spent or earmarked for these funds to be utilized. So let me give everyone a rundown of where we stand on the accounting of this. Um, we received uh, $162,615.76 to date. We will receive that same amount in the future. So the total amount granted will be $325,200. Have spent money for the fire department having a replacement air compressor which was shopped around very, uh, very well and got a good deal of $15,750. We improved a section of sidewalk from the hardware to the old firehouse. Um, and that has been completed and that was at the cost of $26,600. That was a total redo of the sidewalk right down to the base. Um, we purchased Mr. Owl. Um, he cost $963.56 for a total spent to date of $43,313.56. Um, that leaves a balance of funds available to spend of $281,919. Um, we do have a couple other small projects in mind that um, are in the pipeline. Um, we do have an oil tank, an underground oil tank with this building, the town office, and um, we are in the works to raise that as the state frowns on underground oil tanks nowadays. We have installed a generator here at the town office with grant funds um, for uh, uh, emergency use. And um, the grant didn't quite cover all of it. So there's maybe a couple $3,000 short on that that we may use a uh, ARPA funds to bridge. Other than that, we're all ears now. Well, we do have one other thing, Pat. We uh -oh. are we did put out the need bid for the rest of the sidewalk before the paving starts in the village, and that'll encompass a piece in front of uh, Sandy's Books and Bakery. There will be some added curbing there, and we will be digging across in front of the skip mark to the town uh, park road there, to the Bethel Mountain Road, and then down in front of the uh, uh, park house. We're going to do 100 feet there back to the telephone pole by the sidewalk so that when they come through to pave the village this well late summer early fall um, they'll pave right up to that new sidewalk so 
um, and all in front of the park will be new pavement. And also in front of the library up to the lawn there, they'll make a course. And I trying to get them to do in front of the hardware. So that's all one piece back from the curbing there. Not sure how we'll, if we'll have any luck there, but. I see a marker. Um, so that's what we're planning on. We just put that out to bid. We don't know what the price on that's going to be. So, but that is pending. Okay. Something to add. Um, excuse me, Frank, a question about that sidewalk work that you just talked about up by the park house and everything. Um, I just wondered if you had, I mean, if you're just putting that out to bid, then you probably don't have any idea of the date this, that that work might be done, general date. We, we put a, a blanket on that of August 10th, but it's going to be depending on the state as okay. far as when the paving starts. Um, we have no idea. I've tried to get a date from them. They don't really know because it's all uh, Pike related who's doing the paving. So they're, they may start north, they may start south. There's no, uh, nobody knows how they're going to do it or when they're going to do it. So we, the gave I was end, okay. we gave an end date on that of August 10th, I believe. I was just wondering, simply because of 4th of July, we have all those events happening uh, right there, but in front of the park house and the park and Pierce Hall and everything um, on, on Monday, the 4th can't, of July. Can't guarantee anything, Martha. Okay, well... I'll just hope they wouldn't be working on that day anyway. So, um, yeah, well, if it's we dug up, we'll we just have, have to, to sit in the street. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do what they have to do. That's all. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, question Did you um, have any other resource funding for the? The, um, resource funding wasn't let out on any kind of paving projects at all until like the, last fall. Talking about the, the sidewalks, right? And I mean, and it takes almost a year to get it, and we don't we don't have that time element to do anything with it. Right, and that's so, the issue. What I guess what I'm asking is if there are other resources to do do it. You're using possibly the ARPA funds as a bridge. Right. And that may get returned. Oh, if you research that, no, there's no way you can get that that way with ARPA funds. You either spend it or you or you lose it. That's it on that. So with ARPA funds, the only reason why we're doing it is because of the paving issue. Right. I That's understand it. you're using it's seizing the moment. Right. Um, but I just wondered if anyone was doing any research for the funding originally. No, we didn't because we didn't have any time frame on when the paving was going to be. They couldn't give us any idea when they were even going to start the job until the spring. All right, so and then they were they were two months. They said they weren't even going to get to the village until June. So they were a month ahead of schedule on that. So, so we don't really know. You're then utilizing the ARPA funds for the sidewalks. Some of them, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is grant money. Um, out there every year for bike paths slash sidewalks. Um, it does come around every year. It's very limited funds, very competitive. So um, the, uh, the chances of getting that are probably rather slim and yeah. it would not cover what, what we need. And once you use the ARPA funds for that, it's gone. You're, it's gone. They're, they're gone. Okay, I understand. There's uh, there's nothing included from Park House to the Catholic Church, then. No, we're we're leaving that section. Uh, it's not in bad shape, so we thought later on we would look at that in another. Plan that we're now currently redoing, that we need to like put in some monies towards upgrading sidewalks throughout the village as a place in the future to go to. Uh, it's not something that's easy to do. I mean, if we pencil in four or 5,000 a year for maybe an upgrade, we could do a section every year and get it caught back up. And that's really what we're trying to look at. And what we're in the process of doing the redoing the capital plan and moving forward with that. 
I, and I just wonder if from the parsonage up to Brook Street too, because lots of kids use that. It's important. The case. parsonage up the Brook. Yeah. Yes, we, that's another section that'll need to be done and also up Park Row and, you know, across in front of the Huntington House and, and that, that all, it's on the radar, but we can't do it all at once. And the only reason why we're concentrating on this part is because when they come through and pave, they will pave right up to that and it'll look a lot better and be seamless, which is what we're looking for. I mean, it'll enhance the village that way and, and that's what we felt was a good use of the funds. Anybody else have more suggestions? I have some that are in writing. Go ahead. As far as alternate um, uses for alcohols. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, the rec department got together yesterday and we officially voted on going forth with um, improving skate space and um, and looking for funds in any way we can. We are <clears throat> um, addressing, um, along with ARPA, um, other avenues of funding. Um, we haven't gotten that far. Um, we have uh, uh, talked with uh, Cricket, an engineer who um, has given us drawings um, about um, how she uh, you know, might best tackle this uh, thing. Oh, did you, you have any of Yeah, I think I have a few more. Oh, wow. Did you guys get a copy of this? Uh, I, th I think you did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you, are, you are on that list of things right, to do. Right. So. I just thought uh, we'd show you our progress. Um, Crick has done a lot of work. And, uh, this is just um, sort of a well, it's sort of a rebuild of um, she, she can get more into it, but a, a rebuild of just the existing space. Um, we also have a couple other people, um, including Tom Lopesker, who uh, um, is working on getting a uh, um, well, possibly a pump track associated with that. Um, it would be down in that little lowland area. Uh, at least that's what we're looking at at this point. Um, so it could turn into a bigger project depending on the total funding that we get. Um, this the, the pump track could or could not be associated with the, um, the skate space. In other words, it could be looked at as two separate projects or a single project if it's cost effective and can be, you know, resources can be utilized all in one shot. Are you looking for specific dollar figures that are requested? Not at this time. Okay. No. Um, we've done a couple of um, forays into quoting, and um, the the idea of trying to redo the skate space um, really has come from um, the fact that it doesn't hold water anymore and it's cracked. So the, the you know, when I did a, um, a survey of it last fall, we found that it's about four, four and a half inches higher on the north end. And so the, when I had cricket down there, we discussed, um, possibly leaving the drainage system that's already in place, which is down about two and a half feet from the surface that it is, and removing the, the asphalt layer, seeing what the um, underlying substrate stuff is, and determining then when, what we need to do. She's got a, um, on the side of that, uh, you'll see um, a um, kind of a strat stratus uh, of, of what the material mm -hmm. that she's she's actually requesting. But in in trying to get the quotes and the numbers, you know, within reason, we thought just taking the macad the macadam or the asphalt away and going up from there uh, about 
10 to 12 inches and then recreating the four inch asphalt surface and a berm so it holds. So you're actually raising everything up, going down four to six or even oh, a little more. I don't know, it depends on construction. Mm -hmm. um, but the, um, we thought that if, it, if the surfaces underneath are fine, it's, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make sense to just remove everything, uh, but just to add to it. And the, the, um, the line is basically where the, um, the warming hut is now, because we've hardwired that um, for the lights for state space. And um, so we feel like we can go up about maybe 10, 10 inches. Um, so removing four, going up 10, and creating a better subsurface. Um, and why are you thinking your side? Um, I would I would like to see it at least eight. Just you know, almost like it is. It's a, it's six and a half now, seven. I'd like to see it eight inches, then we can dump water in there because it's going to move eventually. Right. Well, that can be make the flooding easier. In the yeah, that right. Can, then I can fill. Then we can fill it right full, and we have to go over there. That's good. Right. So make it a little bit. And yeah, if it settles I, a little bit. It does something. Right. We got it. Yeah. Right. I think it depends on the curbing machine that they have. Um, right. Yeah. <clears throat> they can do that. But whatever. eight inches is fine. It's just I'd like to, you know, continue with it. Uh, and we're as the water just goes away. Well, skate space is already on our list. So um, in collecting suggestions, um, we would have another phase where we select certain projects and we would then get, roll up our sleeves and get down to how much does this cost? How much can you raise mm -hmm. and how much do you need? Um, so that said, um, we, it's already on our list from our previous right. meetings. Yeah. So um, you're already kind of there. The, the, the question is, um, how much? That's a good <laughs> well, question. Well, we don't know if because you, if um, you uh... either it's you know it's from I, my perspective. Um, I think we Crick and I just kicked around numbers on the way out of the library last night, and you know we could be. Uh, I, I think I got a quote of around. Twenty-five or thirty thousand to repave it just as it is. That's just the paving. Mm -hmm. um, the excavation could be another number, just like that. Uh, realistically, you know, we're looking at fifty thousand dollars to possibly redo it, and with an eight-inch burn. Um, so any any uh, thing toward that helps us fundraise going to the going to the town going to other resources and mm -hmm. say, well, we've got you know twenty thousand dollars here or whatever but the, the it's it's basically um we'll kick start our our program and i'm not sure what the timing is for you guys to decide yeah we'll be moving along on it um you know this is not a decision making forum tonight right. but it is opening the door and yeah. you're you're keeping the door open for yeah. sure right so so dean you have, we have to realize that right now we only have one hundred and sixty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. so and we've already spent like 43 plus a little bit yeah. so um when we get the other will be another year so we don't know what the sidewalk job is going to cost us and that's kind of what we're waiting for mm -hmm. these other small jobs the underground fuel tank and and um, possibly any extra money the fire department needs in setting up their new truck um, there's the retaining wall out here that we've looked at and all that will be pending all that too but we won't have money enough to do everything on that so we're not putting the, the retaining wall out on this installment. We've decided that 
we are going to do the f underground fuel tank out here because that's I think it's going to be somewhere if there's no contamination be somewhere in a ballpark of 5,000 I will supplement some uh, building funds for that removal and some ARPA funds so I'll kind of split that down to be like 2,500 whatever extra we owe on the generator I'll also split that with a building fund so I'll take some ARPA funds and some building funds for whatever we owe over the grant and that's the way I'll divide that up or look at dividing that up with the board approval of course but as far as the, the skate space resurfacing goes we haven't used any other money other than that and we're waiting like I said for the sidewalk and when that comes in then all that other money anything left over then we can decide on what to do with it and how best to use it moving forward. Mm -hmm. That's the way we kind of are having to look at it. So the so, timing may be, you know, dependent on your bid. Right. The timing bid. Right. Um, and and what, what the cost is going to be on that. Once we find out the cost and, and what it is, then we have a better idea of what mm -hmm. monies we have on hand because we really can't spend any more than $160,000. Also on the list is the library, which is going to need some extremely, you know, sensitive work over there. We're not really sure what that's going to entail or what it's going to cost, but it's going to be a little bit more intensive, in, intensive than what we want to get into at that. And that may be with the second installment mm -hmm. where we look at those kinds of things. Well, well the only reason I'm asking is the, um, the time for all years. Yep. The, the timing for our um, fundraising activity. Um, if we had a commitment of something this year, when it would, ju I'm just, you know, hear me right. out, is it would, I think it would really help us in terms of fundraising down the road that the town is, you know, is committed to this. And this year we can guarantee uh, X amount of money and build on it. Right. And it, it just, um, it has everything to do with timing and it, whether it, you know, moves forward this year or we just, you know, table everything for next year and everything, everyone knows that the prices go up. <laughs> so, I'm just I'm kind of pleading for the the some kind of commitment for that you know in in the near future so we can get our get our own um, movement going. Those bids for the sidewalk are due by the 27th of June. Okay. So then after that we'll know what that price is, yeah. and then we can move forward with that after that. So then you can get an idea of what we might be able to send your way right. so that would be at the end of the month okay okay is there anything else you're looking from us for the you know upcoming meetings um i, I presume estimates um, some high estimates. i think we'll, that'll probably happen later i would think but mm -hmm. you you may want to gather that up you know before you know august and get an idea you know? I can we can move ahead with what cricket has given us um, on on estimates. Um, I can get you know I'm a, I'm willing to do a clerk of the works of the pro the, the whole project right um, to be there while while it's getting done um, you know and kind of move it along. I'm you know donating my time for that right. Um, but the uh, the you know it's just a matter of um, getting um, getting a, a, a solid commitment that the town wants this is what I'm what we're after with the okay. type of money that you're looking for you're probably going to have to get three bids on it because it'll yeah. go through the procurement policy yeah, so yeah, you'll have I understand to that. yeah yeah so that yeah it's not why we're here tonight so no. we'll, yeah. we'll move forward thank you uh, and, and then as uh, what, what cricket, do you have anything to add? Mm. Not on this particular one. Um, but as long as we're talking about skate space, we may want to um, sort of talk about the project that's been 
associated with it, and that would be the pump track, which uh, again could be or could not be done at the same time as the skate space. And uh, Tom, I don't know if you have something you want to expound on that. Yeah, I just came here in case anybody needed any information. Uh, yeah, I, I think it sounds like from with the um, tone of the meeting that um, pump track upgrades is not to shoot ourselves in the foot, but I think those are probably outside the scope of what's available from our funding. It was definitely something we started talking about as a sister project to the state space upgrades, but I think the funding for that um, sounds like it would be appropriate to be procured elsewhere. I think definitely the rec committee's priority is state space. And another interesting add on that we had in mind um, is upgrades to the pump track, but we'll keep that on our consideration it's list kind of a part b of this mm -hmm. space, yeah space yep, absolutely yep. this is a sample track gives you an idea of um kind of things we're looking for basically more pavement and it's very similar in um, Aggregate as the skate space. It needs, a, it needs a good base level right. um, to pave over a, a hilly section. And the, um, the beauty of that particular idea is that it gets the uh, skate park, which is kind of homemade disasters on that skate, skate space right now. Um, kind of off the off the level area, and you know adds a adds another dimension to the um, the whole recreation area, and um, literally and figuratively. <laughs> right. Another another thing we talked about is the um, and we'll probably go ahead and do this before uh, basically putting up some signage. Um, <laughs> And, and, the, and the, these pump tracks are all the rage throughout the country. Um, again, I think, Tom, you can attest that. I think, uh, yeah, I can say however much or however little anybody needs to hear. But the essence of the thing is the area that's over there was a low-fi volunteer built effort. It's very, has a high maintenance requirement. And what we would be looking to put in its place would be a permanent low-maintenance asphalt pump track that could be ridden by more than just bikes, scooters, skateboards, more kids, just more of a kind of a attention or just a hub for people to go. So we're just. Uh, it would be one area, uh, one way to quell the junk factor of the area. Um, there's a lot of homemade ramps right now, um, uh, just like plywood. Uh, you know, after just win one winter, they splinter up to become kind of dangerous. And then for uh, when the winter comes around, um, when we flood, we got to get those things off. They're heavy, they're, you know, they, they look like hell all over the place, strewn around, looks like a junkyard. <clears throat> if we have a nice clean pump track like that, mm -hmm. it, it, it just becomes a more attractive place. Yep, to be. we got it. I, I bet my son would love it too. <laughs> Chat because of, so, which I spent some time on that manual literally the other day. So, yeah, I'm aware of that being a major component of that. That bank is made for that. And, and all of that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, you... it's not a project that's been fleshed out completely. It's an idea that could be. Right. Part Does that part. storm drain affect that? <laughs> that one that comes down off from the across so there's the, a sewer the church hole, uh two inlets one outlet that's right in the middle of the existing pump track um, not a storm drain but an actual the, sewer there's a storm drain there that comes down towards it um feeds out into the high school there and yeah, yeah it's it's been there. but does the water go that way now that that culverts and i turned it into the state to have them see if they couldn't deal with that so you're talking a little bit um Mean, like yeah, that feeds down back. The, the kids right. used to have a trail that went down through there, but oh, the I pipe just dumped over the bank right there. Right. right. And that, right. but that culvert came apart. 
and it's now separated and that water is coming down. I don't know if it's running towards that. Yeah, that's it's way below it. I wasn't sure if it's the structure in the pump track area is sewer, and that, that yeah. would be a major consideration. And the scope, uh, location, scope, all of that. Of that of right. Yeah. Okay, so we have four suggestions on our list so far. Anybody else have a suggestion? Fire department. Just that truck, that's all. I mean, we're going to need more. You know, by the time we ordered it, it was the body double. Okay, outfit, uh, outfitting the new truck. We raised some pretty good money, so we're going to be short maybe four or five thousand. Out, yes. Outfitting the new truck that's the pickup, right? That that was on the list, right? Yeah, but well, you said a couple grand, but I think it'd be closer to four or five. Okay, I mean, we're going to dump everything yep. weekend into it, but right. Um, the item I, I'm wearing a couple hats here, mm -hmm. or three or four. Um, the item I was at the last select board meeting about, which again is a unknown scope, unknown timing, um, and unknown if it would necessarily even happen, but would be nice to maybe keep as a placeholder is is maybe some help to the private landowners for improving the pump station north of the village near Robinson Drive. Again, don't even know if that's the direction that project's going to head, but if it does head in that direction, um, holding it as a placeholder or a little, even a tiny bit of ARPA funding would be super awesome. Okay, it's on the list. The library painting and various repairs to the walls. Oh, I already have that. Windows, you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. you got that on the list. Yeah, I need it. But yeah. uh, that's what some of this I have some that were emailed in. So I do have one from, well, let's, let's do this one. I have one from Jeff Gephardt who says, I would urge the board to utilize ARPA funds to make further progress on energy and climate improvements to town assets. Of course, the biggest issue faced involved the Rochester High School and the town office. However, their linkage requires further analysis as to the direction we should go as a community which clouds our current ability to make significant investments in either one of the buildings. My suggestion to the board are to consider the community needs identified and prioritized through the Rochester Area Climate Initiative, as well as the items identified by the Efficiency Investments Incorporated Audit from October of 2021. Work in need of funding includes the Rochester Public Library, stop water penetration, of exterior walls, electric vehicle charging station, mo motion sensor activated lighting and security camera for the facility. The facility will be provided by Green Mountain Power. Town garage, air sealing, insulation, um, and improvements to walkability and bikeability to increase non-motorized access to Rochester Village, i.e. I would imagine that points towards sidewalks. We have an email from Terry Paquette who asks, please use some or all of the funds to repair our amazing library and Route 100 through town. So that would be a vote for our library improvements and sidewalk improvements. Kelly Kelly, I heard. Um, number one, library building maintenance and repair issues, including painting the outside of the building, repair the rotted windowsills, leak in roof, flashing on the north side of the library. Number two, Brook Street paving from the bridge to the Klansmiths. The road is very broke up, especially from all the traffic that was diverted that way during the repair of Bethel Mountain Road. I have to put Brook Street in here. And we got additional paving projects there, the town office and cemetery, so we could put that in on that one. Pat. We have a message from Roseanne Johnson, who says, I'm writing to request that funds be set aside for the dire repairs of our beautiful library. Um, Jeanette could provide a list. Um, 
she also sent a second email saying that she was specifically looking for painting, windowsill repair, fixing the leak in the roof and repairing the chimney. And she did also provide photographs for us to have on file. And I think that is it. Um, Julie Smith has requested that we want a large community bulletin board to be mounted across from the skip mark uh, or the triangle area of the post office um, for her to post meetings and town information for people to see. Um, or anybody to use. Or anybody to use. Community bulletin board. Martha, you're on mute. Julie, just one quick question. When you're saying a community bulletin board, are you talking about something that's like that you can post posters on that's that's you know non-electronic? Or are you thinking of something that I mean I heard I've heard of community bulletin boards that you put electronic messages on. I, that's not what you're thinking of, right? Or or not? No. No. Okay. Just yeah, all right, thank you. When taxes are due. Okay, yeah, thank you. Like a cork board. That's what you're thinking. Uh, I don't know, just something something large enough that when you're driving through town, you can see, oh, taxes are due this week, or um, there's going to be a community event. A uh, I was going to ask you if that would be something like, for example, I'm in charge of uh, Fourth of July parade and harvest fair and things like yeah. that. You could put a poster for an event up on it as well, right? But you probably have, you, is it something we should ask permission from you to put a poster there if, if this does happen? Or it'll be it'll be managed. Yeah. Okay, thank you. A couple other suggestions that have come our way. Of course, the town office here has got a retaining wall problem that has been going on for years and not. The restoration, repair, renovation of that retaining wall. Um, we are also talking about um, looking at the trees that are on the park and some of the trees may be outgrowing their lifespan for the space of the park. So doing an analysis of the trees on the park and possibly doing some tree removal on the park. And stump removal, that's another one. That that's the biggest part. Yeah. And um, we have also been requested to put in um, doggy poop bag stations around the areas where people walk their dogs, the park, uh, the trail down around the ball fields, around the schools, there have been certain Riverside Park, there's been places identified as in need of providing services to people that are walking their dogs. So um, that's what we have so far, still open for suggestions. Uh, I have, I have one fairly small thing as long as we're talking about um, um, amenities of the town. Um, actually, our, our, I talked to Jeanette, our librarian, and she was talking about how uh, bikers use the um, water. Are locking their bikes on the railing against that. And they're not usually not even going in the library, they're hanging out in the park or whatever. Um, and then the, the bikes are sort of on the inside. So it, it, it's sort of an impediment to the handicapped people. Um, and so she was requesting having a bike rack somewhere around the park, mm -hmm. some central location. Um, so hopefully that could be a consideration. Mm -hmm. On the park. <clears throat> Okay. Anybody on Zoom? Yes, not. Everybody's moving. You're here. <laughs> okay, then we have heard all of the suggestions. Um, I move to adjourn the meeting. Um, we will be taking all of this in consideration as soon as we possibly can. 
And to those that have um, suggestions and have preparations, we would definitely be getting back to you. <laughs> I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you so much for coming this evening. Good suggestions. Thank you.